Hey everybody, James with My Breed of Supply, Love My Pups. Today I'm gonna to show you a, uh, an app you can get from the App Store, which is called Coat Color Calculator. And it lets you look visually uh, at the various different combinations of colors you could get in French Bulldogs. It's gonna work with other dogs too, but this is primarily set up for French Bulldogs. And it's gonna let you select DNA for two different dogs, a male and a female, and then see what the results are. It's pretty cool. And especially for people getting started on this, it gives you a good idea about what's going on with this, uh, the DNA. So we've got it loaded up. We're gonna, by the way, if you go to the support, you'll see some they've used some of my videos. I'm not affiliated with these people. Bakia, B-A-K-I-A, -A is, the, is the guy who put this together. Um, but uh, they're good people, and uh, they did get a little bit of support from me asking about questions some time ago. But I thought it's time that we actually show this thing off. Okay, so what we have here is the male dog we're looking at first. So here's the male dog. And so we have, remember, every dog has two copies of each color of DNA. So what we have to do is we have to select the two, the left and the right are not significant. They're just that we've got two copies. So let's start with just a basic fawn dog. So that would be a dog that is AY, AY. And look at that. It shows you what the color of the dog is. So this is pretty cool. It gives you an idea about what the heck you do. So now let's make this a blue dog. So that would be a dog that is little d, little d. And there, now it's a blue fawn. See, it's very cool. Now let's make this a dog that has a copy of Brindle. So we'll put in KY for not Brindle and KB for it has a copy of Brindle. And there you see, there's a blue Brindle. Um, if we make this a tan pointed dog, it would be AT, AT. And you can see now it's a Brindle dog with tan points. If you get rid of the brindle and get that a KY, look, there you go. Now you've got a blue and tan. If you get rid of the blue and you make this a, uh, let's see here, a, um, well, <laughs> this is where you get into some funny stuff. I want to show you a black and tan. I've got to think how you're going to make a black and tan on this. Um, let's see, how are they going to make this a black and tan? Uh, just have a look here. Um, I'm getting lost here for a second, so I'm not doing very so good on this. Well, I'm not sure why I'm not showing a black and tan. It's because I haven't set it up right, so that's my mistake. Anyway, let's keep on going. So, so far we've got a little d, little d, which would be a blue and tan, and there it is. Now, let's put some, let's put some uh, chocolate with this, some cocoa with this. And there you go, you get a lilac and tan. Now let's make this a Merle dog. So one copy of Merle, one copy of not Merle. And there you go, lilac and tan Merle. Let's make this a Fluffy. One copy of Fluffy, one copy of not Fluffy. And... Sorry, I've got to have two copies of Fluffy if it's going to be a Fluffy dog. There you go. So what we have here, looking through all of this... We'll make this a masked dog, E-M-E-M, -E -M, without pied, no pied. And so what we have now is we have a lilac and tan Merle Fluffy. So there's our tan points, A-T-A-T. And by the way, A-T-A gets you the same results, which is correct. Blue dog, cocoa dog, no brindle, black has a black mask, no copies of pied, uh, has one copy of Merle and two copies of Fluffy. Bingo, there's the dog. I mean, how fantastic is this? Let's give this dog, let's make this dog pied. Two copies of pied, because it's a recessive gene. Two copies of, there you go. So now you've got a pied version of that. Um, let's, let's give it also, um, let's give it the testable chocolate as well. Little B, little B. It's an Isabella. Actually, this is a new shade Isabella, because it's got both copies. So they don't have that quite right there, but it's good enough. So, okay, so... Let's just go back. Now, remember, if you don't fill anything in, if you leave something blank, like you leave this. Um, sorry, I've gone backwards here. How do you undo this? There you go. Undo it. Click on. If you don't fill something out, like on this row here, then it's going to give you, when it gets the results back for this dog, the male dog, bred to a female dog, it's going to give you all the possibilities you could get. So you can get a little bit confused. Really, if you know everything about the dog, you need to fill it out. If you leave something blank, then it's going to give you all the possibilities. Let's undo this and make this a little bit more simple. We're going to go with a straight blue fawn, and we'll start with a straight blue fawn. So I'm going to get rid of this. 
I'm going to make this a straight blue form. Um, not pied. Not merle. Not fluffy. All right, there's a blue form. Okay, so now we're going to breed that to another dog. How do we do that? So what we do is we go to the next dog. And I'm going to remember how to do this. How do I get, there we go, there's next, next. Okay, so here comes our female we're gonna to breed to. Well, we're gonna make this a blue fawn as well. So here we go, we'll put all the information in little d, little d for blue. Doesn't have ch cocoa, doesn't have testable chocolate. It is not brindle, it's got black mask. It's not a pied, it's not a merle, and it's not a fluffy. Oops, wrong way around on the fluffy, sorry. I'll get it right in a moment. Not a fluffy. Oops, I made it a fluffy. Not a fluffy. We don't want a merle. Sorry, we've got to get that back where it needs to be. Okay, there it is. All right, so we are now mating two dogs that are both blue fawns. So now we go here to next, and it shows the result. And guess what? We would only get blue fawns out of that. That's all we'd expect to get, and they've got it right. And then you can go click on this, and it'll show you more about what a blue fawn is. And there it is. It's 100% blue fawn. All right, we'll go back. We'll go back one notch. Now we're going to change the female. We're going to make this female also have a copy of Coco. So we'll make this a Coco dog as well. So what would you expect to get? Well, if you did the Punnett square on this, what you'd find is you'd expect to get all blue fawns that all carried Coco. Let's see if you got it right. So here comes next. And there it is. It says 100% blue fawns. And if you click on this, it then shows you what's going on here. And the answer is 100% of them are blue fawns of Gucci, 100% blue, and then 100% of them get, get cocoa. So it shows you what the combinations of the hidden colors that you can't see. Let's go back and uh, let's do another one. So we're gonna put this, let's make this a tan pointed uh, dog that's ATA uh, lilac. So there we go, lilac and tan, we've got it in there. Right. Now we'll go back to the, to the male, and we're going to make the male also an ATA, lilac and tan, and there he is as well. So we're going to breed these two dogs together. What would we expect to get? Well, this is kind of interesting because remember, you've got ATA. So what you'd expect to get is you're supposed to get half, a quarter of the dogs are going to be AA. They won't show tan points. A quarter of the dogs are going to be ATAT, -AT, full 10 points, and a, a half of the dogs are going to be ATAA. -A. They will show 10 points as well. So let's see if you got it right. So we'll do next. So we've also got the ATA dog. See the results and see if you got it right. And it did. So what it says is, is, is that most of the dogs are lilac and tans. Actually, there are two variations of lilac and tan. They're ATA and ATAT, and then 25% of them are solid dogs, AA dogs. We'll go look at this one right here, and we'll look down here, and we'll see the tan points for us. And there it is. Uh, sorry. Um, where is it showing us the tan points? There it is, AA. So it's saying 100% of the dogs are going to be AA, solid colors. Go back. And these other ones, they're actually going to be two different variations. They're either going to be ATAs or ATATs, and uh, it got it right. So, look, when you look at this the first time, it is going to confuse you a little bit. You do need to remember that any time you're filling this out, you do have to put down all of these on both sides. If you don't do that, I'll give you an example. If you put down that one side is unknown, we'll make that one side unknown. So it could be Brindle, it could be KY, and then we look at the results. It's going to work it out as though this is both. So here we go. This is now showing us the possibilities if that was a brindle carrier or not a brindle carrier. So it can get really a bit confusing. So you, I would start off by filling this out as best you can all the way and then going back and knocking out your unknown things. One more thing here. Let's just do one more thing here. Let's make this. So this dog is a lilac and tan. It's going to produce lilac and tan puppies. Now let's put a copy of cream. We'll make this dog cream. Look what happens. That's correct. If you have a cream dog, little lead, little lead, it's like white paint, it covers up everything on the dog, you can't see its colors, and then it did it correctly. 
Let's go back to the, to the male and let's do the same thing with the male. We'll make him also a, a cream dog and there he is. So now we've got two cream lilacs, which is basically, it should be called a platinum. You can get the wording quite right, but we'll forgive him for that. It should say platinum. So we've got a platinum bred to a platinum. And what do you expect to get? And the answer is, is that you should get all platinums and you won't see their colors. And let's see if he got it right. There it is. They're all platinums. Every single dog looks cream, but they're all platinums. Now we've got six combinations. Why is that? It's because we had that ATA in there. So some of the dogs are ATA. Some of the dogs are ATAT, which is still 10 points. And a quarter of the dogs are AA, don't have 10 points at all. And it shows you that right there. Bang on, got it right on the money. So I, I think this is an excellent application. Uh, I think it's very well done. And, and what I really like about this is that you can we'll go back to the, the beginning. You really can get an idea about what this dog might look like. Let's go back and get the cream off this. We get one copy of cream gone. Remember, cream is a recessive gene. It takes two copies for it to, to show up on, the, on the, uh, the phenotype. So the genotype of this dog is a dog that can, that can produce cream, but the, geno, the phenotype, what it physically shows, is not a cream dog. Now we can play around with some things. And here's some interesting things. Look, Brindle is a single copy makes it happen. And I put a single copy in there. There it is. There's your Brindle dog. One copy. That's why you've got to be careful with Brindle. Brindle is a dominant gene. A single copy makes it happen. Let's get that back to not being a Brindle dog. Same thing with Merle. Merle is also a dominant gene. And all it takes is a single copy. And there it is. So we've got a dog here that is... Uh, is a Merle dog with a single copy of Merle. And look, it produced Merle. By the way, you don't want this. You don't want a, a double Merle dog. It doesn't look any different, but that one's the one that can cause problems to be deaf and blind. So that's one you've got to be careful of. Um, let's get that double Merle out because we don't like that. And let's just put Fluffy in here. What happens if you put a copy of Fluffy in? So we'll do that. Look, nothing's happened. But if you put two copies of Fluffy in, it's a dominant gene. And there's that little outline of the hairiness. It's a... It's a um, a fluffy dog. So, love this thing. I mean, go play around with it. It's coat color calculator. You can't put it on a PC. You can put it on an Apple. Um, I've got this thing running on a on a little iPad. Um, yeah. So, great product. Rip free. Um, they spend a lot of time and effort putting it together for you to find out what's with your dogs. And and I think you'll find that it's a you know a great tool for you to learn about how DNA works. So I've done videos on this and I think that those are probably useful to you. And I think that you need to understand how Punnett squares work and how all this really goes together. I personally don't use this calculator much because I know this back to front. So if somebody gives me the letters, I can automatically know what that dog is. But you have to get there. And, and I didn't have this tool when I was first starting out and I wish I did. So anyway, James with Love My Pups, My Breeder Supply. Go download that puppy and I think you'll find that uh, it's extremely useful. All right, so have a good day. Bye, everybody.